Okay, uh, welcome to today's class. For today, we'll look at chemical kinetics tutorial sheet questions. So, I'll help you solve question 1 and 2 in your tutorial sheet. So, before we start, just ensure that you like, subscribe, and click on the notification button so that whatever I'm going to be posting will be updated or notified. So, uh, as I said, we'll, I'll help you solve or answer question 1 and 2 in your tutorial sheet. So, let's start with question 1. So what is question one saying? Question one is saying define reaction rate, distinguish between the initial rate, average rate, and instantaneous rate of a chemical rate reaction. So let's start with uh, reaction rate. So before I define reaction rate, you need to you need to ensure that you watch my first video on chemical kinetics where I define all this. So uh, reaction rate, reaction rate is change in concentration of reactants or products per unit time just like that then you are done and then the question is saying distinguish between the initial rate average rate and instantaneous rate of a chemical water reaction so the answer is here rate measured at initial stage at the start of the reaction at the beginning of the reaction that's the initial rate and then the rate measured at any or in any instant of time is instantaneous rate and then we have the rate measured at a particular period of time that's what we're calling an average what rate like this then you're done for question one and then let's go to question two so this is question two now so question two is saying uh, and then for you to solve this question you need to ensure that you watch my second video that is that is on integrated rate law that will make you understand this question and i derived all the formulas that you're supposed to use on this same what question so let's start the question is saying uh, a first order reaction is 38.5 percent complete in 48 seconds a is saying calculate the value of the rate constant so how can you calculate the value of the rate constant so this is question 2a so uh we can come up with data so uh we have been given um what do we want first we want the late constant k then we have been given time which is 480 seconds and then here the reaction is saying a first order reaction so this is a first order reaction we have the zero order the first order and the second order i explained all this in my second video on integrated late law so you just have to ensure that you watch this we watch that video and then um what you need to know here is we need to understand this 38.5 percent what does it mean you need to come up with your initial and your final in this same thing so for it to be 38 percent which means it's involving 100 so 100 will be our initial so at initial so it's starting at 100 at initial 100 and then uh it uh 38 point five percent was used or consumed so that is that eight point five percent so this has been used now what's remaining so you need to subtract that eight point five percent from hundred so when you subtract you are going to get something like sixty one point five so that will be your final concentration so we have the initial concentration which is 100 and then we have 61.5 that is uh, our final concentration and then here what are you supposed to do you need to come up with the uh, the, the 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 integrated rate equation for the first order reaction so for the first order what's the integrated rate equation so i derived all this so in a, you write your, uh, your your final like that negative k that lead constant and then time plus in and then you write your initial like that so this is the integrated lead equation that you're going to use for the first order so the second order has its own uh, integrated lead equation and then the zero does its own but for the first order since first we're going to use this one and then uh, we can substitute because we know now everything here so in so what's your final your final is 61.1 1. 1. 
that's your concentration is equal to uh, negative your k rate constant that's what you're looking for and then your time you have been given to be 480 like that plus in of the, the initial concentration which is 100 like that and then here what do you do you can make this in to go that side because this it's having in and in so this can go to this in like that you can move it so 61.1 like that when this in 100 moves this side to develop a negative to adopt a negative sign because it's crossing the equal sign and then you're going to have in like that you're going to have in of 100 like that is equal to uh, and then here you can multiply uh negative k times 4 8 you're going to have negative 4 80 k like that that's a lead constant and then here you need to subtract in of 61.1 minus in of 100 so you, after subtracting this doing it in your calculator you're going to get something like negative 0 0.4861330111 like that is equal to negative 480k like that and then here your aim is to remain with this k the rate constant what do you do you divide both sides by negative 480 even this side by negative 480 you cancel like that your k will be negative negative cancel like that this into that you're going to get your lead constant to be the one point one point zero times ten to the power negative zero three like that and then that's the units and then this can also be written like this so since it's negative this uh it's having negative power of zero point uh, 0 0.3 so you're going to have 0 0.001 second squared like that and then on the units i explained in the video or now i'm coming up with this unit so for the first order this is a unit and then the second order it has its own units for the let constant k so you just have to ensure that you wrote the video so this is how you go about the first question and then uh let me help you with the second question and i'm sure this is clear to you so that's how you go about that one and then the second question what is it saying so uh b b is saying what is the half life of the what is the value of the half life so they want the value of the half life for this same uh reaction so half life for the second order the formula is given by this so half life so this is half life is equal to 0 0.693 like that over let constant k like that and then here of which you have the let constant so you can just substitute so 0 0.693 over what's the let constant we know it's 0 0.001 like that so our final answer for the half life would be when you divide 0 0.693 divided by 0 0.01 you're going to get 693 seconds like that then you're done as simple as that so that's how you go about this one so let's solve now the last question which is c so c is saying how long will it take for the reaction to reach 95 percent what completion so before i start this one let me lab this so that i create space for c uh, so let me maintain my k here because i'll be using it let constant the one we found at phase that is 0 0.001 like that i'm sure you know where this is coming from so and then let me lab this just create some space for the last question so last question saying how long will it take for the reaction to reach 95 percent what completion so uh so that's to see now so here data you need to know what you're looking for so how long they want time this time 
the one time and then you have the dead constant the one we found at first which is 0 0.001 like that and then you need to understand 95 percent what compression so 95 percent since it's involving percent which means it's hundred it's involving hundred so we're going to have our initial concentration which will be at hundred that's where it's starting from and then 95 percent has been used or consumed so what's remaining so 95 you subtract from 100 you're going to have five like that so this five you are having this five percent you're having that will become your final concentration like that and then once you're having this then you can come up with the integrated lead equation for the first order the one I use that the first at A. So that's in A. You write your final is equal to negative K T like that plus in of uh, the initial concentration like that. So here now what do you do? So you just have so in what's your concentration, your final concentration? You know that that is five. And then is equal to negative. What's your k? Your k you're having it to be. Um, let me write this. You're having it to be zero point zero zero one t like this. And then plus you're having in. What's your initial concentration? So your initial concentration is hundred like that. Then here the same thing. What are you going to do? You make this 100 go this side to move to the other side. So once it moves like that, so you're going to have in 5 like that. Minus when this uh, in 100 causes uh, this equal sign moves to this side, it's going to uh, adopt a negative. So it's going to be like this. This is good. And then you multiply negative times 0 0.001 times t that's going to give you negative 0 0.001 t like that then here what do you do on your calculator when you uh you do in of 5 minus in of 100 it's going to give you something like negative 2 point negative 2.99573 two seven four like that is equal to negative zero point zero zero one t like that then your m is to remain with this t what do you do you divide both sides by negative zero point zero zero one even this side by negative zero point zero zero one then you cancel cancel everything this side you cancel this side can that negative that into that so we are going to have uh, when you divide that into that, you're going to have 2.99. So it's not going to be points, there will be no point here. So it will be 2995.7, like that, is equal to t. And then here, you can, so t is equal to, so this 5 will become 6. So you can round it off to that. So it will be two nine nine. Then this seven will give. You can round it off to that. You can write it off to four significant figures. So it's give you that. And then time is measured in what? In seconds. So that will be your final answer like that. Then you are done. So as simple as that. So last, you don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and what? Comment. And thank you for watching.